excitement. <laughs> truly kings beautiful beautiful magical kings i've been eating cereal i feel like i've left you out here feast have some have the tiny pickles just have something get something into your belly so we're about to have some fun and you're gonna need it i got the cheese there tiny peppers beautiful beautiful magic little pickles so yeah Rob Patillo Rob Patillo Entertainment System we gotta get through the week man we can't let these shit clowns get in our heads mess our style we're kings we're kings and we gotta act like kings and we do that by playing video games for tonight the 8-bit Nintendo Pretty incredible stuff. If you have any requests, it's the all requests line. You can hear Phil Collins or I'll play Super Mario Brothers or right now, Paperboy. That's right. Fucking Paperboy. Those are our customers. You know, it's simpler when you're a teenager or going into your teens. You just have to do your route, man. It's Monday. It is Monday, so don't forget that. Uh, this looks like Danvers, Massachusetts. Okay, that button fires the paper. Yeah, we got to watch out for the Nirvana skateboard kid. KJ in the house. That little shit on the tricycle right there. A lot of shit can get our way. Oh, what is this dude? He's got the jackhammer. I don't see any concrete moving. That guy's faking it. Oh, wow. Space Jason's hosting. Look at that little shit in the street, though. I got to get more newspapers. All right, right on. Cheers from the spaceship from Space Jason number nine. Okay. We got to, we got to, uh, I got to get some customer. I got to throw these papers. Okay, I think that was a good one. I think this is one of our customers. Oh, there's more papers. I'm just trying to do a clean route here. A lot of people in this city, they're on Oxy, Molly. They're on the internet doing shitty things today on Facebook. Shit posting their friends about masks, about the vaccine. Yeah. Let's get a little bit of Aaron the King Wizard in here. Hey, Rob, check this new game out. Right there. <laughs> That's the King Beast. Wizard. Ultimate Remember, Beast. he loves you. He's always watching you. Let's rock and roll right now. Okay, if we don't deliver any of these papers, we're going to lose clients. We got to... Oh, look at that dude breakdancing. I'm already out of papers. They only give you like two at a time. Okay. Oh, crap. I broke a window. I'm already going to lose this route. Oh, that little dog. Get out of... Oh, that fucking little shit. That dog got right in my spokes. Put his little nose right in my spokes. Okay. I can't be distracted by that. We got... Ah, oh, I threw three at that damn mailbox. I didn't get any in. What does that mean? I'm going to have a bad week because of that. Oh, look at that wheel. Jeez, man. I'm telling you, paper boys are shit, but... It's very dangerous. A lot of weird clients I have in this neighborhood. Oh, that fucking dog. Get away from me. Get a job. Ah, oh, that kid in the tricycle. Everybody trying to... Fuck up my style. I made it, though. To the obstacle course. Look at this shit. Evil Knievel of the paperboy world. Flying on my silver bike. Yes, I'm killing dogs again. No, they're trying to kill me this time. I killed some dogs two nights ago on Metal Gear. I, I still feel bad. I see those damn dogs in my sleep. Okay, let's see how many, how many customers we still have. 
Oh, Jesus, we lost. <laughs> we lost all our customers. Don't smoke weed and deliver papers. That's the message right there. All right, Tuesday. We only have three customers now. We really, really fucked up throwing those papers. We had one job. Throw the newspapers and we couldn't even do it. All right, right in the mailbox. Okay, we have a request for Commando next. I'll see if I can... Oh, that goddamn hurricane. Get the hell away from me. Maybe I'll talk about my dad's Vietnam trauma and we'll... Oh, that's it. What a pussy. I had the biggest pussy in the paperboy business. This guy's a... What a, what a little lump of shit. Let's go over... And I guess we had a request from KJ to play a little commando. So let's do that. Let's do that. Do we have that? Well, it'd probably, probably be a shooter, right? I mean, we are shooting things. Yep, we are. All right, commando. My dad bought me this in 1986. And he's a Vietnam vet who looks like Hulk Hogan Bizarro World. And this triggered the living shit out of him. This looked like Vietnam. He was like sitting on the couch behind me like, Light the huts on fire! Shoot them all, Rob! Throw the grenade! Salt the gardens of the village! The gardens. Alright, a lot of bullets coming at us. Jesus, just like that, we lost a life. No funeral. No, no wake. We just bury him in the middle of this forest. Jesus, this forest is covered. Lots of ugh, guys doing karate in the background. I, I gotta wake up right here, man. I came from, um, can I pause it? Thank you, Jesus Christ. I came from feeding this dirty cat, Red. Outdoors, Pasadena feeding cat. So I gotta wake up a little bit, okay? All right, right back into Vietnam, in the shit. All right, let's lock down. Oh, Jesus, what happened there? I'm exploding, okay. We're out of it. There's a four right next to it. This game's kind of glitchy. We have to ignore that four right next to me. Oh, it froze. God damn it. This game is a piece of shit. Let's move over to Akari Warriors. Request by Butter Rays. All right. Our plane is going down. At the beginning of all these army games, we're either being deployed by a helicopter or a plane's going down. All right, here we go. Not screwing around here. We're in Vietnam again. God damn it. They're coming from everywhere. They're all around us. Our guy looks good, though. Can I throw grenades? You're fucking right I can throw grenades. These little shits. Jeez, I gotta shoot quicker. They're coming at me from weird angles. I've already killed like 10 of them. Oh, God. A tank. A tank. Come on. S launching the grenade. Launching another grenade. Yeah! Suck a dick right there! We're doing it. We're making the magic happen. We're feeling creative by killing these motherfuckers that killed our wife. They shot her in the middle of this forest. It was a painful death. They shot her in the knees. Oh, look, we got tanks. Forget my wife. Let's get in these tanks. Nice! Run these motherfuckers' legs over. They'll be traumatized for life. If we crush some of these guys' legs... Oh my god, get away from that death bunker. Oh, rocket launchers already? This is like level one. They're already bringing the CIA after me. Bugging my tank. Check him... Oh! Is that lasers? It doesn't matter. We're inside a tank. Oh, they're throwing grenades. We're in the middle of the rice fields. Shit is going down. I've lost three of my comrades already. A helicopter that was supposed to deploy supplies has already gone down over a river. So it's just us. You're going to have to cook for us. Okay, I got to get out of this. I got to get out of this. Help me get out of... Ah! Yes, I can shoot backwards, but we need to just be thinking about going forwards. Oh, God. This game is hard, man. They got snipers in the river. They got guys hidden inside pigs. They're sending children with grenades in their mouth. This game is... Uh, a, B, B, A. B, B, A, B, B, A. Ah, there's a cheat code. Okay. All right on. Nova Zulu in the house. 
He sponsors our wonderful cheese platter. You can see his logo next to mine. Wonderful gaming. If you want to be on a real gaming team, even though I'm one of the worst gamers in the world, <laughs> Nova Zulu on Magic 106.7. I'm Rob Patillo. We're going back into Vietnam. We got to do this shit, people. Getting off the helicopter. We're getting off firing. These sons of bitches, they got snipers. They got dogs in the river that are shooting BB guns at us. It's, it's just crazy. Daddy-o in the house. You're a super gamer too. I got to launch the grenades at these sons of bitches and my nose is itching. War is hell. Especially if you have a boner. It's just a tough game. All right. Lock and loaded. Let's just keep going. We got to make the myths, man. I can shoot behind me. Oh, God. A lot of these sons of bitches are running away from us now. I got to get in a tank. All right, locked and loaded. You can hear the helicopters in the background. We gotta just keep going. If we can crush some of these motherfuckers underneath the tank, it will send a message to the other guys to maybe go back to community college and leave us the hell alone. My dad said there wasn't this many, <laughs> this many guys with flamethrowers and rocket launchers and tanks in Vietnam. He changes his story every time, though. One week he tells me he killed a bunch of people. The next week he says he just was a cook. All I did was cook for the troops, Bob. We also invited the enemies over, Bob, for a barbecue. <laughs> Fucking suckers. Oh, Jesus. That guy got lucky with the hand grenade. I'm not that bad. A, B, B, A, start. A, B, B, A, start. A, B, B, A, start. Ah, oh, A, B, B, A, start. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get the cheat, and we're going to live forever. Don't ever give up on cheating. Cheating is the wind beneath your wings. If it takes all week to learn one cheat, that's going to be one more cheat than your enemy. A, B, B, A. All right. Let's do this. Anybody need cheese? Anybody? You guys remember my friend P. Mooney? That's my friend from kindergarten. All oh, right on. I am Here we go. Back to the stream. Akari Warriors, take three. We've lost a lot of troops, but we've gotten some cheese from the cheese platter, and we're ready to go back into war. God damn it. Our plane is crashing. War is hell, people. Let's do this. We got a request for Qbert. That's coming up on the queue. No pun intended. All right, right out of the plane, we're shooting motherfuckers, sending a message. Especially when you shoot them in your, you know, especially when you shoot them in the back. That's what kings do. If you can get these guys while they're running away from you like this, you know, and just shoot them in the back. That, that makes you a legend in these jungles. Oh my God, I just got killed. We're going to live out here for weeks in these jungles. You're going to have to cook. You're going to have to learn how to strip down boa constrictors and make them taste like chicken for the troops. We're going to be living in trees and huts in the trees. I just want to get in the tank one more time. That's all I want to do. If I can just get in that dirty tank one more time, I'll be a happy veteran. Where are the tanks? Right there. That's all I want. It's like a make-a-wish. Oh, I'm running. That guy almost killed me. Right on. Can't keep a shitty guy down. Remember that. Let's get these motherfuckers. They're running away. Usually, if it was NATO, we would have to let them surrender. But we ain't NATO, motherfucker. We're Blackwater. Independent contractors coming in to bomb this village. Joe Biden says hello, motherfuckers. <laughs> That's right. We're in Syria right now. Just killing people for Joe. All right. A, B, B, A, start. Yes! The cheats are on! We have cheats. We're back. Representing Joe Biden. Are we going to raise minimum wage? No. But are we going to bomb children in villages in Syria? Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's keep going. I know the cheats now. So we can lose a lot of fighters. Are you guys having a good week already? Any of you get fired? I know a lot of my uh, fans have problems seeking gainful employment. So if anybody's gotten fired this week, it's a safe space. Let me know. Cheeky girl's trying to get fired. 
We'll start a fight at work. Hit another girl. You know, get that COVID fun employment so you can make your art. So you can be happy. Maybe I should put it that way because who gives a shit about art? You know, it's paintings on the wall, right? But you can use art as a business front and you can live your dreams. Right now, I'm dressed as a fucking giraffe. What the hell? You know, living the dream. I'm killing people over in Syria for Joe Biden. Oh, they're hitting me hard. But I'm running their asses over. Joe Biden says happy Easter, motherfuckers. All right. Waste Rock has some advice. Want to get fired? Upper deck that work toilet. <laughs> we got some brain scientists in the chat room. Some real Einsteins. All right. Let's run over some more motherfuckers and get over our depression. We're coming on behalf of Joe Biden. We have the vaccine. <laughs> Dumb fucks. We're giving away the vaccine off the back of the tank. Attention, Syria. This is Joe Biden. We have your vaccine. Come to the back of the tank. All right. Rocking and rolling right now, man. Ah, oh, right when I say that, I get a missile right in the tank's asshole. God damn it. KJ's uh, breaking up with his girlfriend for uh, giving her the clap. Oh, a, B, B, A. Nice. We're still going. I'm going to kill some dudes for you, KJ. Sorry about your broken heart. Oh, come on. Got to get that. Yeah. I'm sorry. I shouldn't scream into the microphone like a shitty new metal singer. I apologize. Ooh, wah. Oh, I got to remember the press the cheat code. It doesn't matter. I'm psyched up. I'm going to play this game one more time. Yeah, rip. All right, our plane's coming down again. ABBA starts to cheat. If you want to cheat at home, I'm like Bob, I'm like Bob Ross. If you want to uh, paint this painting at home, ABBA's to cheats. Akari Warriors all night on the Rob Patillo Network. KJ is not depressed in the chat room, even though his girl dumped him. They broke up. I'm going to kill some of these motherfucking idiots for you. Why are they coming at me? I love shooting them in the back. It makes me feel like a king. Joe Biden says hello, you fucking Easter eggers. Easter eggers. That's real shit talk right there. Here we go. We're going to... Ah! I love this tank. It's like the Lamborghinis of tanks. This is the... Li this is... Yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's like the Ferrari of tanks. It's got great handling. The missiles come out quick and kill a lot of people. Oh, Jesus. Both get out of it. Ugh, I don't know how to get out of the tank. That's going to that's gonna haunt me. I still hear the guy's screams inside the tank. Jesus, they're right on my asshole. Get out of here. Get jobs. Ugh. KJ's thinking about dropping acid tonight. Do it. I'm going to be playing video games. You do what you want. If you want to turn it into a Doors movie during my stream, A, B, B, A, start. Yes. I remember the cheats. It's not hard, you know. You just got to remember how to cheat correctly, and you'll do a good job in this game. Ah, these sons of bitches. I hate the little gun. I hate the gun. This is, look at this. It's like spitballs. Why did Joe Biden send me over to Syria with such a shitty weapon? A, B, B, A, start. Yes. Oh, it's just A, B, B, A. I don't even have to press the start, people. Newsflash. I've been pressing too many buttons to cheat. All right, let's keep going. Try to stay positive. If you had a bad day, if someone made fun of your bald head on the internet, if somebody said that China is gone and you'll never see her again, and that you're about to die because the Holy Spirit told her, and that you need to discover Jesus, I'm here for you. That's what happened to me today. I wake up, I check my Facebook DMs, and some lady says I had a premonition from the Holy Spirit that you're about to die, Rob. I'm not about to die. These motherfuckers are about to die in this game. You know, and she's like, you need to find Jesus right now. China's gone, Rob. She's gone forever, Rob. You need to find Jesus. China's always going to be inside of me. Rest in peace, the ninth wonder of the world. All right. Is this truck out of... Oh, my God. The tank's out of ammo. And we hit a landmine. Oh, okay. 
I figured out how to get out of that tank. Okay, am I dead? No, we still got more lives and I know how to cheat. As long as I know how to cheat, the magic of cheating is beating in my heart will always have a chance. I'm high. Ugh. I'm losing my boner though. A, B, B, A, yes. But I never forgot how to cheat. I hope you guys are having a good night. Throw up some cat emojis or say hello in the chat room. Let people know you're alive, that you're an artist, that you're here watching me kill people on behalf of Joe Biden over here in Syria. Oh, you found a cheese and meat platter shindig? That's ah. Uh, I get too distracted by the goddamn chat room and I have snipers taking me out from the towers. I got to get in that tank. Oh, God. Nova Zulu wants to invite everybody to the Discord. It's just that name, Nova Zulu. Get over there on the Discord. You can put the link up in the chat room. I'll give it a lot of attention. If I had four arms like Ganesh, maybe I'd put it up in the chat room. But I got him on the controller like a real gaming pro. All right, here we go. Arr! Right when I gave you the thumbs up, this tank took me out. I'm dead, but I can cheat. Yes, I cheated. I'm back. This life is dedicated to Nova Zulu. I am going to kill everybody on behalf of your magical gaming company. All these motherfuckers die. We're going right up to this goddamn base right here like Normandy. I just took out the big bunker. Ugh. All right, that anarchist dog's in the house. We got more gasoline. The tank. Oh, shit. Get out of the tank. Ah, I burned alive in the tank. Joe Biden has a lot of blood on his hands. It's overwhelming, man. You got the tanks. You got you guys in the chat room. I got the bombs. But you you know what? It really isn't overwhelming. Because once again, my dad was a Vietnam vet. And try playing a game like this while he's around and shit. Like, Jesus Christ. You've lost 50 soldiers, needle dick. Come on, Rob. If there was... <laughs> ah! I took that... Tank shell right off the skull. Oh, God. I want to kill that tank. I don't care if I lose 20 lives just taking out this tank. This tank shot me in. Yeah! Fuck you, tank. Nice. We're going to get that tank right there. I almost forgot the cheat code for a second. Oh, they blew up the tank right when I was going to get into it. Jesus, man. That's right, Joe Biden needs to get us out of Syria and he needs to pay off the Nash. Jesus, all these guys, they have my number. Die, motherfucker, die. We need to get out of Syria as soon as possible. All the wars. And we need to get home and start partying and fucking. Because ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're going to have the vaccine in us. We're all going to be getting out of the houses finally this summer, and we're going to be horny. So let's bring the troops back to America, because this summer is going to be the new summer of love. Oh, that's the end boss right there. I got to throw grenades for a second. Hold on, guys, and I'll talk about the summer of love afterwards. Yeah, we did it. We beat level one on behalf of Joe Biden. But yeah, this summer is going to be the new summer of love, people. You know that in your heart. Everybody's going to be coming off of being on lockdown for almost a year and a half. They're gonna be horny. So get out there. There's gonna be a lot of Biden babies, a lot of COVID babies. Get out there and make the kid of your dreams. Cause you're probably gonna be able to date like one or two levels up from yourself. Yeah, levels like a video game. You'll be able to get a Boston seven instead of a Boston six. Or maybe if you've invested in Bitcoin, you could get an LA eight. Wouldn't that make everything a lot better? You got that LA8? Make everything like Euro Disney in your life. Oh, there's going to be, yeah, ton, tons of amazing orgies this summer. The new summer of love. I know I'm losing a lot of lives right now, but I'd rather talk to you guys about the new summer of love than, yeah, play a really uh, tight video game. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I have to keep pressing the cheat every time I die. You guys know this. It's not a revelation. If you're trying to cheat at home, remember, it's A-B-B-A. -A. But yeah, I mean, this summer is going to be the new summer of love. You'll potentially be able to date one to two levels above your normal dating capacity. So take home that seven instead of that five. 
You know, go the extra mile and take that seven out for lobster rolls this summer and tell her or him it's going to last forever. It's going to be a seven summer for a lot of people. That's right, Nova Zulu. It's going to be one hell of a seven summer. We're all going to be dating sevens. We're going to have hair transplants and new kidneys. If this doesn't apply to you, let me know. But um, yeah, we're going to have new hair transplants. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. It's like they all ran up to me in the water and grabbed my dick. All right. All right, locked back in and stuff. I just want to get that flamethrower. If I get that, come on. Oh, that wasn't even a flamethrower. It was just super bullets. But it doesn't matter if I have super bullets if these guys are trying to come up and grab my dick in the river. Ah, get away. Oh, I took that bullet right off the head. Butter Rays wants a mullet this summer. This could be the summer for it. I mean, I'm serious, people. Once we all get that vaccine in our assholes, I'm assuming that's where Walgreens, Walgreens is putting all the vaccines. They put mine deep in my asshole. Once we all get those vaccines, we're going to be single and ready to mingle this summer. A, B, B, A. Yes, cheat forever. Cheat to win. Let me know if you're cheating out there on a Monday night on the Rob Patillo Entertainment System. Are you cheating? I bet you fall's gonna be incredible too. The weather's gonna get colder. People are gonna get horny. We're all gonna be vaccinated. It's gonna be able to make a cult this fucking fall, like Waco, Texas. Probably be able to maybe go half in with a couple of you guys from Twitch. Maybe get like a five bedroom up in the Hollywood Hills. Would you guys like that? You know, we could do it under a religion, so it's tax-free. We can do it under the hot dogs and applesauce religion. But yeah, let's get a tax-free re uh, religion going this summer so we can get a house in the hills. Yeah, it is. We can, um, it does sound fun, right, cheeky girl? Ah, oh, right on. This is fun, too. We're in the copter now. We got bombs and grenades in the copter. But yeah, I mean, a five-bedroom up in the hills, that's probably like uh, five grand a month. We can cover it if I'm... Getting more subscribers, wink, wink, you know, so help me get some more subscribers. We get that house in the hill with the infinity pool and the chef and the water slides that go right from our bedrooms right into the pool and we just stream all day. Twitch, you guys know what I'm talking about. Hit that follow button. That's right, Nova Zulu. Hit that follow button and go to the Nova Zulu Discord room where we're going to be talking about this afterwards. A-B-B-A, -B -B -A, cheating forever. But let's do that. It's going to be the new summer of love. You guys are going to want to get laid again. Let's see about getting a five-bedroom up in the hills for all of us. It'll be incredible. I know Principal Belding from Saved by the Bell. What if he lived with us? Wouldn't that be amazing if he lived with us? I wish China was still alive. That would be incredible. I mean, I already lived with her. She was incredible. I love her. But we could have an incredible house up in the Hollywood Hills this summer. <laughs> Come hang with us in the Novo Zula Discord. It's down there. I'm sorry, I got shot right when I was saying it, it was like Nova. <laughs> but the Nova Zulu is open now, the Discord. So go down there and we're gonna talk about our new five bedroom compound like Waco, Texas, that's gonna be located in the Hollywood Hills. Alright, we're playing Akari Warriors for the 8-bit Nintendo, A B B A, and we're cheating. I'll probably play this for a couple more minutes. There's a lot of other games we need to explore and a lot of plotting we need to do. That's a big door right here. Let's throw some grenades on it. Joe Biden says Happy Easter. Okay, Easter already passed, Rob. Think of the next holiday. J Joe, Bri <laughs> Joe Biden says Happy Memorial Day, Needle Dicks. I'm killing for Joe Biden. But I thought things would be more peaceful with the Democrats in the White House. No! Just the bombs have LGBT flags on them. Everybody saw that meme. Alright, let's keep going. Let's light these villages on fire. I wanted Bernie Sanders for the record. Or Vermin Supreme. Alright, Daddy-O is letting us all know that the Easter candy... Oh, Jesus, he's got my number. A-B-B-A. But we got his number, because we have infinite lives, motherfucker! Infinite power! Easter chocolate is cheaper this day, these days, obviously. Easter is long over now. But folks, 
Let us not forget Easter. You know, it was a magical holiday. <laughs> Remember the Easter room I made? Wasn't this incredible? Bunny, bunny. All right. I have a lot of people wanting me to let go of the Easter room. I'm going to play a little bit more of Akari Warriors and then we'll move over to see if Qbert's in the house. Bunny, bunny, Easter room. Oh, jeez, man, with the tanks. All right. I'm getting a little bit bored of Akari Warriors. Let's get the hell out of here. Say goodbye to Syria for Joe Biden. Let's see what we got. All right, on Waste Rock. Waste Rock subscribe. Here, dude. Take something from the uh, platter. You want a little pickle? If you subscribed, you get a little pickle. Get in there. Get that goddamn little pickle in your mouth. Get little cheese. <laughs> Two cute brothers saying that this is the only stream, really, that they watch. Well, let's get you real excited right now. Let's see if we can play some Q-Bird. I'm going to think it's under puzzle. Am I right? We'll see. Yeah, right there. Boom. All right. We're taking your requests. That anarchist dog saying, are there other streams? No, there's only mine. Get everybody to subscribe to mine. We can talk to your friends on here. Are these controls okay? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Let's just play. Let's go. Yes. I want to play fucking Qbert. Let me go. My money's good. Let me in the casino. Oh, Qbert. Yes. I'm so happy. Come on. Ah, I forgot how hard this game is, though. Come on, you little shit. I forgot how hard it is to jump on these squares, man. Oh, there's a lot more balls than I remembered. Okay, I love Qbert. I, uh, uh. Okay, we got a couple more lives. Yay, Qbert! I'm a. Uh. Okay, we're gonna do Q. Okay, fuck Qbert. Jeez. That was like 9 11 bad right there. That was awful. What was I thinking? I'm gonna play Qbert? What am I, stupid? All right. Let's see, what else, what else? Oh my effing head. Gauntlet. Let's do it. We're gonna play some Gauntlet. You guys remember playing this shit in the arcade? Yeah. Well, Qbert's a hard game in natu you know, naturally Qbert's hard because you always had to press the diagonals. All right, what do we want to be? We want to be... I want to be Valkyrie. All right. Look at this. God damn it. We're playing Gauntlet. I feel like I'm 12 years old again inside the Liberty Tree Mall in Danvers, Massachusetts. Okay, I got to stop shooting the treasures. I'm sorry. I'm nervous. I got to shoot that, though. That's a pod. Ooh. Let's take the easy exits. That's what cheaters do. All right, cheating the win here on the Rapatillo Entertainment System. Let's keep going here. Oh, wow, we're already on level two. I remember playing this in the arcade and there was like a voice for it, like, Valkyrie, you're about to die. Valkyrie, need food badly. Valkyrie, you have the Rona virus. Valkyrie, tell that guy to put a condom on. You know, it was like the guy advised you on everything. I loved those 80s video games. They had the voices in the arcade. Oh, is that meat? Oh, that was food. Why was I shooting food? The graphics are that bad? <laughs> All right, here we go. Got to avoid these traps. Doing pretty good right now. Throw up some cat emojis. Oh, son of a bitch. Nice. This was a really fun game. I remember playing this down at the Aladdin's Castle in Danvers, Massachusetts. I was like eight or nine years old. I don't know why my parents were leaving me down there at eight or nine years old. This was when poor Adam Walsh got kidnapped and decapitated and they're, they're making me still go down by myself. All right, all right. Okay, we don't have a key to open that chest. I'm sorry. Too cute, brothers. Thank you for the cat emojis. It's, ah! Son of a bitch, I'm looking at cat emojis and that shithead came up. Yeah, you get yours, fuckface. If I die, you're coming with me to hell. 
Do I have Rygar? You're on the queue. Shindig. Rygar. Coming up next. I love Rygar. Matt Wilgo had Rygar. I was so jealous. I hated when another kid in the neighborhood got the game before me. You know, it just pissed me off. Oh my god, I remember Tapper too. I'm saying it with my Boston accent. Dude, I remember fucking Tapper. You were working as a bartender on Lansdowne Street and you had to fucking make the cores. I remember Tapper. That was a fucking wicked cool game, dude. Fucking A. I remember playing Tapper down in Malden at Malden House of Pizza. I had a chicken parmesan sub. I was a king. All right. We're going to play. I'm already thinking about Rygar, but we're playing Gauntlet. I have such ADD. That's why I'm impossible to date. I'm thinking about Rygar. You can make a meme with like those two girls and I'm like looking down the street at Rygar and Gauntlet 2 is looking at me like, Hello, you're still playing me. You know? <laughs> oh, wow. It's a shame because my character is getting really strong. I can shoot those swords. Get these perverts out of here. Oh, and the coronavirus. So much garbage on this game right now. Get, get the hell away from me. Get jobs. I'm here to get you guys some gainful employment. Where is the exit? If you guys see the exit, let me know. I'm not a machine. Oh, we got a key. We just need an exit. Ah, oh, these guys are teeing off on me. There's too many of them. We got to run. We got to find an exit. Get, get, out, get out of here. Oh, I see a gate. Get the hell off of me. Okay. Do we have two keys? Do we have two keys? Yes. Oh. Holy shit. Level four. The exit will move. Oh, God. Okay, keep your eye on the exit. I'm going to have this McRib sandwich. Nice. Yummy. Yeah, cheeky girl. That was tense. Oh, there's the key. There's the key. Oh, wizards. Oh, I shot the whiskey. I'm sorry. My head's not in the game. Deep breath. You know what? Why do we have to rush things? Let's take our time. Have some cheese. Enjoy yourself. Anybody making out with their loved one right now? Let me know. Are you? All right. Let's do this shit. Yeah, of course there's sharp cheddar in there. That's the best of all the cheeses, cheeky girl. By a country mile, I must say. I actually had some sharp cheddar fake chicken nachos about an hour ago. <laughs> All right, let's see what's in here. Is that a treasure chest? Nah, I don't know. All right, let's do this. I love sharp cheddar. I love America. I love cats. My name is Rob Patillo, not Potato or Padildo. I've had a lot of people mispronounce it. You know what? I want to play fucking Rygar. Let's do this shit. Would it be under puzzle games? Probably would be under action adventure. So we're going to go up to Luigi. No, we're not going to go up to Mike Tyson that they put over the shooting games. Not cool. That's racist. And I think it's going to be under action. There we go. I love Rygar. This game is incredible. You got a disc on a rope. Look at this. We can jump. We can throw the disc on a rope. Oh, shit. Hold on. Jesus, they come right at you right off the bat. Hold on. Quit. Start that again. Jesus Christ. Like 10 guys right in my face right off the bat. All right. Here we go. Rygar. Dedicated to Shindig. Oh my God. I forgot how hard the game is. Jesus Christ. Would you give me... Oh my God. Okay. Just jump them. Just jump them. Okay. I don't have to fight everybody. Thank you for the tip, guys. Oh, my head's itchy too. Jesus, I got to remember all this shit, too, when I press pause. Tone 30. Last mind 11. What is this shit? Power up? I, I protect. Oh, my God. This is like European. Ugh. Wow. 1987 is right. Ugh. Okay. I'm getting better, though. That's This game is frustrating, man. But it's Rygar. By request. Let's do it again. Come on, Rob. These guys took your... Fucking wife. 
I love how every video game in the 80s, the sun is always setting. They love showing off what they can do with sun graphics in the 80s. Shindig doesn't remember the pause screen. Well, this was originally an arcade game. So probably no one remembers the damn pause. God. These bad guys are unrelenting. Every time I try to read the chat room, there's two turtles up my asshole. Okay, let's go, let's go. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god. This is like just invading Normandy. You know, a lot of those guys died right off the boat. You remember that? Tom Hanks saving Private Ryan when they got off the boat? This reminds you of Karate Kid, the movie? No, the video game. You're right, Karate Kid is similar to this. With like 2,000 dudes coming at you. Alright, we're making progress now. We're near the pillars of... Dicky Failure. I, I don't know. I don't know the names. I don't have the, the, the instruction book. I can't tell you what these are. Alright, let's keep going. Sarah's in the house. What's up, Sarah? We're playing Rygar. We're unemployed. We're making it happen on the Robotillo Entertainment System. Let's get up this rope. Okay, let's try to get up the rope. Okay, that was embarrassing. I suck on the 12 dicks of failure. That was good, though. I mean, that was Rygar. We got a bunch of games, though. We don't have to focus just on Rygar the whole night. If you miss Rygar, we can go back to it. Let's do a little Aladdin. All right. This is beautiful. We're Aladdin. We're in that village. We're trying to just figure shit out. Hold on, I gotta itch my neck. All right, who is that? Oh, get away from me. I need to use Aladdin magic. Okay, the first A button jumps, B button throws yo-yos. Remember that, people. This is gonna be a test. Look at beautiful Aladdin. I love those MC Hammer pants and those, oh God, that little velvet vest of his. Use your hammer to get pants. What, use your hammer pants to get air? Oh yeah, 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 you're right. They'll catch in the air. I, I don't know what I'm doing. It looks like I'm doing good, though, so we'll just wing it. Nice! Like Mary Lou Retton there. I'm pretty good at Aladdin, huh? Oh, Jesus, Cobras. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have looked at the camera. I should focus. Oh, Jesus, that Cobra just jumped out of the vase. Nice. But I know how to do gymnastics. Little bit <laughs> George Michael. I don't know about the gymnastics. It's it's fine though. I just think it's a little bit, you know, a little swish, which is fine. I'm just saying that like I don't like doing the gymnastics with this guy. <laughs> it's this isn't fun for me. Nice, we made it. Huh? Sarah, not bad. I'm in California, come visit. All right, I gotta throw tomatoes at this motherfucker. Hold on, I'm dead? That's it, Johnny? Oh, we get to start right from here again. We gotta remember, this game was built for like two-year-olds, so if I can't beat it, there's something wrong. All right. I haven't watched Aladdin in a while, so I don't know where to go. Is it Robin Williams somewhere? Oh, I ran out of yo-yos, shit. Tomatoes or whatever the fuck I was throwing, Bitcoin. I mean, this was like 19... 94, so Bitcoin was everywhere at this point. So you could throw it at your enemies. Different times. Oh, how do I get up the stairs? Jeez, man. I need more tomatoes. Oh, I don't want to do gymnastics on the other dudes. I'm conflicted. Ah, oh, you dead already? Alright, I'm going to give this motherfucker one more time and then we're going to get into another game. If you guys have any requests... Give me a request, you know? Don't want to just be screwing around on these games if you're not excited. Yeah, the MC Hammer Pants are not... Harem Pants, I thought you said Hammer Pants, are, are not really effective armor. The gymnastics aren't really doing a lot of... Oh my god, fuck this guy. You know, seriously. Guy's Aladdin, you know? Make a wish. You know, get some better weapons. Dirty Harry? Oh my god, Dirty Harry? Okay, I got uh, Conan on the queue, Nova Zulu. Dirty Harry, though. 
Go ahead, shithead. Make my day. <laughs> wow! We don't need the credits. Who gives a shit? All these guys are dead now. I don't need to know who... Wow. Alright, let's play this. Alright. Hey, shit. Where's my gun? This is too confusing. That's Dirty Harry? Okay. One button. Oh, one. Uh. Okay, I'm just gonna shoot everybody. Fuck this shit. Yeah! Go ahead, shit clown. Make my day. Go ahead, slap nuts. Make my day. Go ahead. Where am I going? This is like a bad 80s music video. Why they call me Dirty Harry? Because I like getting fucked up the ass by cat. I don't know why. I, you know, I, I was trying to wing it there. Uh, I'll tell you one thing. Dirty Harry's not a good video game. That sucked. That was like getting the coronavirus all over again. All right. Let's play some Double Dragon. These guys fucked my f wife. We got to... Well, she cheated, so maybe I should break up with her, but we got to get my wife back. Here we go. Double Dragon. Nova Zulu's gonna take a dab. Alright, what mode? Let's do it. Here we go. God, that Dirty Harry game sucked ass. What were we thinking? Here we go. Did you fuck my wife, you son of a bitch? Now this is the first double dragon. At the beginning of it, you don't have all your moves. It sucks. You only can kick like this, and you can punch. And it's like an RPG where the further you get in the game, you learn new fight moves. If you got the dabs, hit them right now. We need... We need you as high as possible. Take a fat one for me. Please. I have to beat the shit out of these people. They they took my wife here on the Robotillo Entertainment System. Alright, let's keep going. Me and my girl, we got this relationship. I love her so bad, but she treats me like shit. I'm locked down like a penitentiary. Alright, let's go. I got a Barrel full of duck shit. We're gonna throw it at this guy. Eat duck shit, motherfucker! Summertime and the living's easy. Alright, let's get the... Eat duck shit, motherfucker! Oh, they took away my barrel. I love my barrel. I could hit every... Oh, she's got a whip. Take that, you swamp witch. Go back to community college and your ex-boyfriend. You shouldn't be out on the streets. All right, making a lot of progress here. About to fight the first boss. Are you guys excited? I'm Rob Patillo. I'm in my 40s. I'm unemployed. You're here on the Rob Patillo Entertainment System. Oh, we got a request for Renegade. See if we get that going. We've played a lot of fighting games. You know? I mean, even Aladdin was a fighting game. <laughs> here we go. Jesus, stay down, you swamp witch. Stay down or you're going to have brain damage. Oh, they took away my whip. Have to fight the Moron Brothers here. Look at their... They've taken a couple punches in the forehead. Look at their foreheads on this game. Boom. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. It looks like that's it. We got no bosses. We won. Oh, shit. Look at this guy. But I still won. Oh, son of a bitch. They're not going to give it to me. He fell first. Ugh. Son of a bitch. Fall off. I like when they fall into the pit of failure. All right, I'm going to get this guy back down. Yes. I love cheating. I could have fought him legitimately, but I was like, no. I'm going to fight him like a dirty champion. Hell yeah. Don't ever forget the cheat in life. Cheat to win. Remember, Rapatillo told you that. All right. Let's keep going. We're going to get my wife back. 
We only lost one life on that first level. Digging the cat emojis. Digging life right now. Let's throw this box of duck shit at these people and keep going. Okay, we're gonna kick this guy, knock his ass on the ground, and throw this box of buck of duck shit. I almost said buck shit, but it's not deer shit. It's foul. Nice. We're doing really good out here. It makes up for doing really bad in real life. If you can do really good in video games and somewhat good in real life, I call that an okay day. Alright, let's climb the fence. Now let's just keep moving. I feel really good. If you're out there, take a dab. Or maybe do a drawing. Be creative. Maybe call your uh, dad up. Say you're sorry. Maybe he'll call you. I, I need the bat, though. I want to hit somebody in their testicles. Here we go. Because, I mean, that's where we're swinging for. The nuts. How's your balls, dude? Oh, this guy's got a fucking firecracker. Whatever, dude. I got a wicked killer aluminum bat signed by Nomar Garcia Para guy. Here you go. This bat. Oh, they took away my bat signed by Nomar Garcia Para. He was a short sh a short stop for the Boston Red Sox in the 90s. Do you remember him? He had a big nose like me. All right, here we go. We're almost at the boss for level two. I'm pretty good, even though we lost a life already. Let's show these swamp witches how it's done. Couple of Boston fours, dude. Look at those Boston fours we gotta fight up here. Dude, Gronk wouldn't even touch her. Alright. Moving along, kicking ass. And we are now at the second boss. Look at this. Throw up those cat emojis in the chat room if you have them. Oh, look at this shit. Just gonna press the button. And let the kicking do all the work. Butter Rays remembers Roger Clemens. Nice! He did a lot of steroids. That's why they won't let him into the Baseball Hall of Fame. I got his autograph, though. I made my mom wait in, mo in line, though. I was trying to get baseball cards. You guys remember baseball card shows? I mean, I'm talking like the 80s. Bunch of racist, homophobic dudes would go down to, like, a Legion Hall in Worcester or Woolburn, and they set up baseball card cases and then sit down and talk about how OJ fucking should have been guilty and how they should kill everybody. I don't know. It was weird. Those baseball card shows. He never made any money. Like the baseball card cases to hold the baseball cards cost like $100 to get glass cases. And then you had to pay for the table at the show. And then you had to like pay for... Literally, you had to pay for... I don't know, if you sold a card, you got like only 40%. It just was tough. Oh, why did I... I should have been able to get that knife. Oh, my nose is itching. He took advantage of that. Did you see that? I was trying to itch my nose. Son of a bitch. We're getting near the end of this game. They're sending out the bosses now as regular dudes. Oh, but we're learning new moves. Look at this. We grab him by the hair and then we do like this little trotting knee kick at him. It's kind of kind of lame. Kind of swish. All right, let's go. Let's rock this shit. Boom, boom, boom. Knees to your head. I probably can throw him too. Let's see. Yeah! Yeah! It sucks that they won't let you use moves like that until, like, round three. But we got him. And now I have my bat signed by Nomar Garcia Para. Take it in the nuts. Yeah! Kicking ass right now. This goes out to the troops. All right, this is the toughest jump in the game. Don't you hate it on Nintendo games when they have those jumps where no matter how many people you kick the shit out of, you can lose all your lives right here? All right, here we go. Oh, I made it. Nice. 
Usually I lose like a life there, so that makes up a little bit. I'm actually generally excited about playing this game right now. I think we have a chance to do some damage. Come on. Hitting that guy in the nuts with the Noma Garcia Power Autograph Bat. Right now we're in Revere, Massachusetts near the woods. Kicking the shit out of a couple of townies. Then we're going to get some chicken parmesan subs and we're going to watch the Pats down at the Malden House of Pizza, dude. And then we're going to go to Revere and we're going to get tattoos of a dolphin on our belly button. And right below it, it's going to say Revere Beach 2013. If anybody wants to get that tattoo, I've been talking about it with people for a little bit. It's going to be a dolphin on your belly button, or maybe your lower back, and underneath it says Revere Beach 2013. Just a special year down at Revere Beach. I'm kicking ass. If you guys are hungry, grab some cheese. Do you need cheese? Do you guys need counseling? Does anybody need counseling? I have my friend from kindergarten, P. Mooney. He's blind, but he can see more than us. Look at him. Look at that blind puppet my teacher used to bring out in kindergarten. That's P. Mooney. That's our friend. All right. No? Okay. Nobody wants to talk to P. Mooney. Let's do this. Yes, Butter Rays. The Talented Mr. Ripley. Good movie. I don't know. I never saw that movie, so I have no correlation, but... I don't know. Boston's full of people who love the fucking Red Sox and are mass holes. Hate if you move out to California. What are you doing out in California? Are you a star yet, they ask me? No, but I'm playing video games dressed as a giraffe. That's got to count for something, right? Ah... Losing a lot of lives. That's it. A, B, B, A. Continue. Continue. Oh, they're not going to let us continue. They're throwing us out of the casino. All right. Let's see what we have. Wow. Faxi and Do. You guys are going to love this game. This is one of... Wow. One of the best RPGs of all time. This is going to be incredible. Saddle up because you're in for the ride of your life. I'm going to press start. And here we go. What the hell is this shit? I don't remember this on Faxan Do. I just want to play the game. All right, maybe I just have to put the. Okay. I, what the? Ugh. It's in Japanese. Son of a bitch. Remember, Nova Zulu is telling you if you have an Amazon Prime, you can sub for free to my channel. Not only do you get video games, but you get interesting videos in the too. Sun, in the sun, we will milk him in the sun. He's a boy cow, he needs milking. Let us milk him in the sun. Gonna go to Orange Julius and get a hot dog. Come on! Hot dogs and applesauce. Come on! Hot dogs and applesauce. Yay! Hot dogs and applesauce. Alright, so remember. That is the Rapatillo Entertainment System. Please subscribe. Get your relatives to subscribe. And we can have a house in the hills of Hollywood by this summer. Me, Nova Zulu, Principal Belding from Save by the Bell. It's going to be incredible. Let's play some Metal Gear. Back in Vietnam. It's happening. It's happening, Nova. Every game they deploy you at the beginning by a helicopter or a plane. This is a good one, though. We're going right back into the shit. Metal Gear. Look at us. Oh, we got a call on the radio. Let's hear what this shit's about. Yeah, what's up? This is the Cobra. Big boss man speaking. You are to put your underwear in a paper bag and give it to the first Metal Gear you see. Remember, tight underwear. Ball hugging underwear. I need you to put it in a paper bag and bring it to the Metal Gear. Use frequency 12085 for this. All right? From now on, call me Needle Dick over and out. All right. So that was a weird message. Let me try to get out of the radio here. And let's just keep going. All right, we got a punch. That's all we got. 
Okay, we need to put our underwear in a paper bag and give it to this dude. So I'll do the talking. I'm getting sleepy. Okay, he's tired. I'm gonna go up behind him and I'm gonna reach around and grab his penis. At that point, I need you to poke him in the eyes. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, I'm grabbing his penis. Now poke, where were you? Okay, you didn't help me there. Okay. See these dogs? I'm gonna have to slice each of their throats. I know, they're adorable, but we're killing dogs. Killing in the name of dogs. Some of these dogs that work forces are the same that burn crosses. Some of these dogs that work forces are the same that burn crosses. Ugh! Killing dogs in the name of... Uh, uh. Oh, I gotta kill that dog too. That one isn't getting away. Oh, more dogs to kill? I love it. <laughs> Killing dogs in the name of... Dun, dun, dun. Now you do what they told you. Dun, dun, dun. Now you do what they told you. I gotta tell you something. The energy in this room right now is electrifying. When you kill dogs, it just sends an energy through your system. Oh, look at this one. He never had a chance. We've killed like several dogs. I love it. I love it. Killing in the name of dogs. Ah, oh, shit. We deserve that. We killed a lot of dogs. Is that it? No, we get to continue. I'll be, I'll be happy if we can kill at least one more dog. That's right, out of stay, New York. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. Those that died are fucking dogs for wearing the fur and the cross inside. You're fucking dogs. Those that died for wearing your badge and your cloak in white. Come on. Killing dogs in the name of Nintendo. Oh, the dogs killed me. Wow. Jesus, just because they're dogs doesn't mean you can't pay attention to the game. I got my ass served to me right there. All right, killing more dogs. I love being unemployed, having kidney disease, and being bald. But if I kill dogs each day, I got to be honest with you. That's a good day. That's a good day right there. I mean, at least several of them and three video games or more. I like thinking about ex-girlfriends when I kill these dogs, too, because some of them look like them. I dated a couple of threes in Boston. I know I'm no charming prince myself, but I dated some real broken, broken women. All right, we got binoculars. <laughs> Killing dogs in the name of ex-girlfriends. Here we go. Oh, I didn't think the guy would be back down there. We're making a lot of progress, though. Kill some more people. Oh, I'm dead. That's how it goes. Let's move on. We've killed enough dogs. Who are we going to do? Spend the rest of our night killing those dogs? Let's go back to... Ooh. Harry Potter. Boogity, oogity. We're going to use magic. It's going to be beautiful. Let's go Harry Potter Part 1 at home. A breeze ruffled the nest hedges. I never saw any of these movies. I had a Canadian girlfriend that wanted me to go, Robert, we need to go see Harry Potter. She had an English accent. Come on, let's kill things. Is this it? Nice. We're Harry Potter. We're kicking sh bats and kind of boring. What is this? Sh ah. Forget Harry Potter. I gotta stop seeing these big names and getting excited. Rarely do the names of these big movie games pay off. I wanna get back to the puzzle games. And let's, oh, Popeye. No, not Pooh Man. Popeye, I don't wanna play Pooh Man. Yeah, yay. Okay, we got Mega Man and the Q, cheeky girl. But first, Popeye. I love Popeye because this looks exactly like my mom and dad. So it's like I'm protecting my mom from my dad getting her pregnant again. Nice. Popeye is a simple game. All you have to do is collect the hearts from olive oil. See those hearts coming down? We just have to collect them and stay away from Bluto. But we can take our spinach and we can go after Bluto. Punched the living shit out of him. Didn't that feel good? Huh? 
Oh, that was great. All right, let's get the rest of these hearts and let's save olive oil and we'll have a good night. We'll call it a good night if we do that. Oh, look at Bluto. He's like a date raper. I mean, isn't he? Is that why they didn't do too many more updated cartoons about Popeye? Because Bluto comes off as a little bit sexually aggressive. I mean, it's ob obvious olive oil doesn't want him. I don't think Tapper is on this. I don't think that we have like a uh, Tapper where you're selling the beer to the kids and stuff on uh, this particular one. I'm sorry, I fail as a human being, but I just kicked the shit out of Bluto again. So that makes up for something. Ah, I wasted the bucket though. Popeye is a very complicated game. I remember seeing this actually for the first time at Yogi Beer Park in Sturbridge, Massachusetts, 1983. They actually had an arcade. I, I, ugh. Bluto is very aggressive. Look at him, he's trying to like grab me now and, and do weird Bluto stuff to me. Oh, uh, now he's throwing his beer bottles. My dad used to do that to me. Oh, that heart's gonna fall in the river. I gotta get down there, I gotta get that before Bluto sexually advances on olive oil. I don't know how else to put it. All right, let's beat one round of Popeye and get back to something serious. Nice. Ah. Oh. Woo! I love you guys. Don't ever forget that. Okay, you get the gist of the game. We've seen enough of that stuff. If you need any cheese, take a piece from the Nova Zulu cheese platter. Nova Zulu Gaming for the best in gaming in the whole world. That's right, we're sponsors. Look, you ever see this? I got a, I got a Triforce tattoo on my neck. You see that right there? Well, sort of on my neck. This is definitely on my neck right here. That's the long block from Tetris. You see that? Beautiful stuff here on the Rapatillo Entertainment System. You guys get enough of the little pickles? You see the little breads with the raisins at the top? That's yours too. So take them. And remember, if you need any counseling, we have P. Mooney. This was a puppet that taught me a lot in kindergarten. P. Mooney. He's blind, but he can see more than us. So you gotta remember that. Beautiful, beautiful blind P. Mooney. All right, let's get back to the Rapatillo Entertainment System. And right before we get back, we just got a redeem for Aaron hey, the Rob, King Wizard. So let's put on some Aaron. <laughs> Altered Beast. Altered Beast is like 1991. This is my friend Aaron. I don't give a damn. Bunch of white boys beating the out of each other. Rise from your grave. Ooh, isn't that scary when they say rise from your grave? Yeah. Stealing right. the fucking power up. Stealing power ups. Well, That's what I do. You're fucking stealing all the power ups. Well, because you're not quick enough, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna kick your fucking ass. If I can get over to the fucking power ups. Thoughts? I hate you. Why? You're stealing all the power-ups. How the f*** am I supposed to get anywhere if you're taking every f***ing thing away from me? Alright. Very violent. Very sad. Let's play... I'm talking about Altered Beast, that game. I stole the power-ups. I'm a jerk. That's why I have no friends in life. It's a very violent game, Altered Beast, so... Let's try to do something a little bit more positive. Let's play a little Tetris, baby! Look at that. One player, zero level, no handy, too many, too many choices. All right. Now we know Tetris. It's a beautiful block game. All we need to do is make lines. We can't be waiting on a long block in life. That's not coming. We got to work with all the shitty blocks in life we have. And that's how we're going to be successful in life. All these crooked blocks that the world gives you that you don't need. Yeah. Screw Tetris. I want to kill more people. All right. What's a game we can kill more people on and feel good about ourselves in the process? What's Tanjian? Look at this. Oh, it's Japanese. We can't. I'm going to need a lady friend to translate that. We can't do the Japanese yet unless I learn how to. A lot of beautiful, beautiful games for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Ooh, Home Alone? Wow. Wow. 
on a very special Home Alone edition. And there we are, we're young Macaulay Culkin. Before the heroin, before the insanity. I don't know what to do on this game. I don't see Joe Pesci. It's like a bad acid trip. What the hell is this shit? I think I already beat the game. Wow. <laughs> okay, there's a map. He looks like a little Donald Trump. You're right. Okay, he got caught. Oh, no. He lost. <laughs> Let's get out of that. What a confusing, confusing game. Home Alone. <gasps> Dig Dug! Nah. Let's get over to the sports. And let's play some WrestleMania Challenge, brother. Nice! Ooh, yeah! WWE WrestleMania Challenge. All killer, no filler. Look at this. We can be Macho Man, The Ultimate Warrior, Rick Rude, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, Hulk Hogan. Ooh, yeah! Macho Man, the cream of the crop. Ooh, man. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, Macho Man. I'm not going to take the bandana off during the match. Ooh, a little bit too crazy. We got to do the moves inside the ring. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Okay, I don't know how to get back in the ring, and that was that. Ooh, yeah! Okay. Let's get back to some normalcy here and play Mega Man. We had a request for Mega Man. Let's get down to it. We gotta choose to fight Cut Man, Gut Man, Ice Man, Fire Man, Rona Man, Unemployed Man, Joe Biden Man, or Mega Man. Let's go after MAGA man. This motherfucker stormed the Capitol. He refused to wear a mask in, in any Panera Bread across the country. And we're going to go after him. Nice. Mega Man's a classic. It's tough as hell. Especially when you're dealing against fighting against Proud Boys. And all these MAGA heads. 70 million of them in the country. We supposed to jump here? Oh, here we go. I'm not good at jumping. I'm good at smoking weed, but... Here we go, dropping down. Oh, oh sh Jesus. Alright, I gotta wake up. Clear your mind. That's what these Nintendo games are about. You can't think about your bullies in high school. You can't think about that job you didn't get at Costco. It was gonna pay good, but you don't care. Sure, you might need a hair transplant and you have eyebrow dandruff, but you gotta focus in on these games because if you bring too much drama in your head while you're playing these games, the game picks up on it. Ah! I gotta remember the jump. I gotta remember the jump. <sighs> Put the hot dog in my mouth. All right, let's do this. These guys took my wife. They killed my wife. Oh my God. Okay, that wasn't a traditional approach, but I was taking a lot of heavy bullets there. This is the part we need to get to. Ugh. All right. I need a breather. This guy's way too tough to me. I gotta do cut, man. All right, here we go. 90,000 to clear this guy. Mega Man's a tough game, man. Oh my god. You know what? I'm rage quitting right now. I need to play something simpler, something that's just natural to me. Here we go. I'm sorry. I know it's like playing Smells Like Teen Spirit, but I need to. <sighs> okay. Beautiful. Things were simple. Life was simpler. I was just Mario. We took mushrooms to trip. It's kind of weird that you're taking mushrooms on this game to make you bigger. 
Little bit of infiltration by the hippies on this. You guys have any good uh, memories about Super Mario Brothers? Any of you lose your virginity to this game? You remember the first time you played this game? Maybe it's right now. If it is, you're playing Super Mario Brothers on the Robotillo Entertainment System. It's a Monday night here. I'm glad you're getting off of Facebook for a little bit. Yeah! That 5,000 points was for you, Daddy-O. Don't ever give up on life. Right on. Where'd my hot dog go? Hot dogs and applesauce. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's go into this goddamn sewer and let's give these guys hell. <laughs> you take a mortal man. Do do do. Do 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 do. Put him in control. Ah, shit. I start to get momentum on these games and then I want to show off for you guys because you're my cool friends and I don't have cool friends. And then I show off to you guys and I get my ass kicked and I regret it. I gotta focus. Oh, thank you for the Robby motes. Cheeky girl said she had to use her friend to play a game like this. I did too. Paul Santi. I remember him. He was pretty annoying. He had weird crab toes. Like he could actually grab beer cans or Coke cans with his toes. And I had the fake laugh at all his shitty jokes just so I could play this game. Because I was poor. I couldn't afford Super Mario 3. I mean, I, Super Mario 1, it came with the system. So I had that. Oh, this is World 2, you idiot. No, World 1. Come on, Rob. Get your head in the game. So I had to go over Paul Santi's house, and it was awful. His brother was like a bedwetter. And I remember they had these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle bed sheets that smelled like urine going bad. It was awful, but I still got to play this game. We're not going to use any warp zones. We're not cheating, guys. I know. Who am I? Let's play this legitimately. Let's see if we can win by the rules, guys. We don't have to cheat to win. Yeah, it's worth it, but... God, the sheets smell completely like urine gone bad, but I mean, Super Mario, it, anybody will tell you it's a worthwhile game. Oh, they're not even going to give us fireworks. Sometimes you get fireworks, then they didn't give us anything there. All right, let's, let's keep rocking and rolling. <sighs> I'm not really good with like the Twitch. I get excited when you guys come in. And I don't concentrate on playing the game anymore because I want to make funny faces to the camera and my guy dies. And that's not a way to build up a Twitch audience. You know, you guys shouldn't get used to losing. I gotta show that I'm good at these games and not just eye candy. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. I got him bigger again. I'm doing good shit on this game. If anybody's near Facebook, can you tell some of my exes that I am doing really good on Super Mario for the Nintendo? I'm Rob Patillo, I rent a room. <laughs> Kicking ass right now. I think we're about to make it to our first castle. Maybe the princess is there. I don't know. Anything could happen tonight. Anything can happen. Oh, that was a weak jump. I'm sorry. All right, where's this Bowser son of a bitch? Nice! Fire, baby! Oh. Not my night, not my night. Not my night. That's it, right? Ah! Uh. Got to the castle and we put up an egg. God, I'm sorry. It was a lot of momentum. My head was in the right place. And I just I just fell in that first lava pit. And, and it was all downhill from there. I'm sorry. I know a lot of you guys believed in me. Alright, let's try another one here. Metroid. 
This was a creepy game. 1986. Oh my god. Now we are this young lady. This is actually a lady warrior. Who's wearing the Metroid outfit. And a very creepy game. Takes usually 80 hours to beat, I think. Maybe we'll do like 3 to 4 tonight. Get you guys going. Yeah, Samus! Thank you! I didn't remember what the lady's name was. This is Samus the Lady Warrior. Gorgeous game for the Nintendo 1986. Using all the capacities of the 8-bit. I can't get under there, so... We're gonna have to call it quits on that one. I'm like speedrunning 24 games tonight. We're almost there, baby. Let's get back down to the puzzles. And let's play Dig Dug. This is a simple one. You just fill your enemies full of hot air and blow them the fuck up. Simple, beautiful Dig Dug. Here we go. Do you see that little hose I'm shooting out right there? We just gotta plug it into any one of these assholes we went to high school with and blow them up. Just like that. Boom. One down. We killed somebody. That should raise everybody's morale. There. That ass clown is down. That shit clown's down. Boom. We've already won the first round. Look at us. Let's celebrate. You remember that? No, fuck that. We already won. I haven't won too much tonight, so I'm going to take my victories when I get them. Hell yeah. How did you guys feel about that? I love Dig Dug. I love America. Alright. Shindig saying, wow, I beat two games real fast. That's how I am. You know, basically, it's just trying to fire up those ambers of hate inside you. When I look at these little red guys inside of these little mazes here, I think of people I went to high school with that parents put them in a good college. I had to go to community college for two years. Fuck you, Brian. I think of those people. I think of all the women I've gone on dates with that laughed at my receding hairline or my crooked nose and I'd go home and I'd listen to Morrissey or REM Everybody Hurts and I'd start looking at old photos on Facebook of my ex-girlfriends playing softball and laughing with other dudes that aren't me. It's hard, man. But video games? Listen, I'm going to tell you something right now. Women, they're going to come and go. But video games last forever. Video games will never dump you. Never make fun of you because you're renting a room and you have no car. And you're in your 40s. Never judge you because... You wear a lot of bandanas and animal hats because... Because your hair pulled out on you in your mid-twenties. God, I had a king's hairline. I looked like a fucking god, man. If I had that hairline again, I wouldn't have grown the beard. The problem is, like, you know, when I shave the head, I look like sort of Andre Agassi with more AIDS. You know, I, I look like a really... I look like Michael Stipe with AIDS when I shave my head. I'm doing real good at this game. Don't sleep on Dig Dug right here. But... If I can get just like $20,000 from you guys tonight in tips or subscriptions, I can get that hair transplant in Turkey. Can you imagine next week I come back and I have a pompadour of newly grown hair that they took from... I don't know where they take it from here or maybe down there. And they're going to put it up here and I'll be so happy. Alright, we're about to clear round five of Dig Dug. Boom! These sons of bitches don't know what hit them. Doesn't it feel good? The <laughs> KJ, don't call me pubic hair head. It's, that's how they do the hair transplant. Oh, I just died because you were negative. 
What do you mean play Lemmings? Why don't you be happy with the game I'm playing right now and stop asking for a game that ain't coming? You just called me pubic hair head. You think I'm gonna play a game for you right now? Oh, sons of bitch, they're coming two at a time. I don't think they take the hair transplant hair from your ha pubic hair area anyways, KJ. I think they take it from the back of my head. You're kidding, but... If I hear you call me pubic hair head when I get my hair transplant, we're not gonna have lobster rolls anymore. I'll be crying. Remember when we had lobster rolls? Remember those lobster rolls? Alright, let's get back. They were good. I think if I had the ch Oh my god, the game's getting wicked tough now, dude. Fuck. Fuck, man, that was tough, dude. We did good. Let's play Dig Dug 2. These guys also killed your fucking wife, dude. Daddy-o, that's not the only thing you can do. You can Venmo me some dirty money. Um, I can get my hair transplant. What the hell is Dig Dug 2? What? This doesn't look the same. I'm not gonna play that. That 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 look, look like dog shit over there. Not gonna waste good quarters, fictional quarters, on a fake game and stuff that I don't like. Ooh. A Nightmare on Elm Street. Thank you for the Rob emojis. And the cat emojis, KJ. I don't know if I have Dynamite Hetty. I know I have Nightmare on Elm Street, though. Look at this. Wow, where's Freddy? Is he that snake? Because Freddy appears in your dreams, so that means he could be anywhere. He could be that snake. Is Freddy up in this house? Keep your eyes peeled. I never played Nightmare on Elm Street for the Nintendo before. This is a big achievement for me. Sure, it'd be exciting if I could tell my dad, hey, I, oh, okay, I can't be negative. The game picks up on that and I just died. Okay, here we go. Lock down and we're going, ch oh! I'm not good at jumping tonight. I'm overthinking my jumps. All right. Here, uh, this game's too hard to jump on, dude. I, I say fuck this game. You know, if you if you had to jump once on this game, you would quit too. God, what a crock of shit that was. Ooh, G.I. Joe. Wow. Okay, we don't need the credits. Let's just play. Come on. Ooh, Cobra! One year ago, Donald Trump and his minions took over the White House. They put up MAGA flags everywhere, and the Proud Boys were erected. And now, G.I. Joe has to take back the White House. Here we go, guys. We got our orders. Look at that big green dick coming out of the ocean. We gotta tap into that power on that big green dick over there. Oh, that is a complicated map. I can't figure that thing out. All right. All right, where's the game? Ah, these games... That was like chess. That was the most complicated G.I. Joe game ever. All right, let's do the Jetsons. The Jetsons. I took that from the Simpsons. All right, here we go. G.I. Joe is like chess shindig. We're going to play the Jetsons. Here we go. Nice. We're going to the packing factory. I don't want any of you guys making jokes. All right? We're going to the packing factory and we're going to do a good job. All right, here we are. We're packing shit. How are you feeling today, Mr. Jetson? Will you need the power packs on your adventure? Okay, enough. Can I play the game? Do I need everybody talking to me? Jesus Christ, shut the fuck up. All right. Here we go. We're George Jetson. We got the packs. All right, lady, enough. This robot won't stop talking to me. All right, I have no clue what to do with him. 
I'm just gonna keep running. Ah, he died. Jetson suck on the 12 dicks of failure. I'd never play that game in my life again unless I lost a bet. The Legend of Cage. These guys took your fucking wife. Look at this. This game was incredible. Anybody ever played this in the arcade? One of the best side scrollers of all time. Hell yeah! Fighting ninjas! This is what I'm talking about. This is what I needed. Look at I'm taking out like 20 ninjas right now. I'm a goddamn king. Look at me flying through the air. Karate, karate, karate up the ass right now on everybody. I'm just throwing... Oh, I that guy's throwing flames at me. Hold on. Yeah! I need that ball. Yeah! I turn green. There's a lot of exciting things happening right now on Legend of Cage. Ah, uh, I was green for like one second. Just gonna keep going. What's that little shit? I'm gonna kill that little chicken McNugget. This is really good. Did you fuck my wife? Did you fuck my wife, you son of a bitch? You're gonna get yours. Did you fuck my wife? All right, we gotta just kill this flame guy, and I think we... Yeah! That's what you get for fucking... Oh, I'm sorry, I was taunting, and I almost got my throat slashed. This is exciting, man. I gotta tell you something. It feels really good to throw these ninja stars. My body feels real good right now. I'm dressed as a giraffe. Put up some cat emojis in the chat room if you're feeling alive. All right, this is the boss. Bo -bo -bo oh, no, 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 no. Yes! Jesus, I think I'm setting the Guinness Book of World Records for sickest run on Twitch. This is like the Nirvana of runs right now. The smells like teen spirit of Twitch runs. This Twitch stream tonight's gonna change the world. Alright, alright, I just got killed gloating. Or boasting. Thank you for the cat emojis. Keep the cat emojis coming. Don't be sleeping on me for cat emojis. If you really cared about me, you'd be filling the goddamn chat room up with cat emojis until I logged off. If that's the way you really feel. Oh, yes! We're doing really good, guys. We're moving on. Nothing but positive thoughts. When you think positive thoughts in life, you're going to get a promotion. You're going to get the vaccine quicker. Bullies will leave you alone. White people will give you money. Just be positive. That's what it's about right now. We're scaling the castle and we're gonna get the sons of bitches that took my wife back. There's a lot of excitement. Got a few minutes left on the stream, so if you guys have any questions about life, perhaps you got some test results from the hospital you're not happy with, just talk to me. I'm Rob Patillo. We're playing The Legend of Cage for the Nintendo Entertainment System. 1986. Baseball had a lot of steroids in it. But don't... Oh. And that's it. Okay, continue. We can continue, though. It said game over. But, ugh, it's getting tougher. Okay, we died. That was a good run, though. We were ninjas for a while. We were having a good time. We're gonna live forever. Let's try another one here. The Flintstones. Flintstones. Meet the Flintstones. I haven't played this one before. Look at this. We played the Jetsons. Now we're gonna get some Flintstone action. Look at that. We're Fred. We got a big club. We can hit the shit out of our enemies. It's never been better than right now. Put up some cat emojis. Let me know you're out there. Can we go in houses? Can we go at the neighbor's wife or something? Make out. Maybe get the second base. Wow. I can tell you, this game is exhilarating. Can I climb down these vines? Can I do shit? Nope. I can just fall. It's very easy to die on all these cartoon games. Of, oh my god. Forget it. I get excited when I see these real flashy games with like Sylvester Stallone or Dirty Harry and they get turned into like 
these video games and, and then they don't live up to it. That wasn't like the Flintstones. Here we go, we're back to fighting. So we're getting deployed by another helicopter and we're doing Russian attack here. This is a good one. And it's not Russian like Mother Russia. It's R-U-S-H and attack. That's how they got away with pretty much saying we're gonna kill Russians without saying Russians. Rush in and attack. And look at us. Deployed in Mother Russia with nothing but a knife to stab at everybody's crotches. And I gotta tell you, if you've had a bad week already, maybe you didn't get enough likes on your Facebook profile picture when you updated it this morning, this is a really great way to let off some steam. Shh, just stabbing people in the dick. I love it. Right there. After we're done with this village, they're gonna send in the EMTs and they're gonna see a lot of soldiers with dick wounds. Look at where we're stabbing, right down there in the crotch. Now let's take our time. We have a rocket launcher and we're just gonna keep stabbing these dudes right down where it counts. Mother Russia doesn't know what hit them. Thank you for the cat emojis. As I stab people in the dick, I want to see cat emojis. That was a sick move right there. Don't sleep on my moves on this game. Mono Drop is saying they were still the Soviets when the game came out. The Cold War was still going strong. And Russian attack reflected that. Look at all those missiles in the background ready to strike the USA. We gotta stop these bastards. Are you counting the number of nuclear warheads they have pointed at our great country? Trigger alert! We're about to kill dogs on level 2, so... If you like dogs and you don't want to see them killed, I wouldn't watch the next level. I gotta stab this guy. Rocket launcher, yeah! All right. Oh! And that's round one, we did it. Hot dogs and applesauce. I appreciate the love, guys. Moving on to level two. A little bit of momentum here on Russian attack with Rob Patillo. Rob Patillo Entertainment System. We got about 10 minutes left. If you guys have any questions, daddy issues, anything you want to talk about, please feel free. The chat room is a safe space. And once again, please, I have cheese for you. Look at this. You're never going to see a better cheese platter on Twitch. I got the little pickles. I got the cheese, the brie, the gouda. All for you guys. Because I care about you guys. You gave me your Monday night. If you have any problems psychologically, you can talk to P. Mooney. He was my friend in kindergarten. No eyes. I know I say this. Even though he has no eyes, he can see more than you or me. And he had a song. Listen. What am I like? Just I am known as P. Mooney. I wear a cap so if any time during this game you're feeling it's depressed and, and you want me to bring P. Mooney to you, let me know. This is a safe space. I want people to come here knowing that they can receive cheese, counseling, and watch a video game. And learn about themselves. Even though I'm stabbing a bunch of dudes in the dick, it doesn't mean we can't learn more about our bodies, about our friends, I'll start. My name's Rob Patillo. I started masturbating at around 15. I love collecting baseball cards. I can crack my jaw. If anybody else wants to talk about themselves, the chat room's a safe place. Oh, we got a sniper. I can't talk for a second. This guy's like Lee Harvey Oswald up there. I got a, oh shit, he has got a real gun. Hold on. I'll talk to you in a... Oh! I had to, like, stab three guys in the dick while that guy was shooting at me. That was a tough way to lose a life. Alright. 
We got to keep going. We had a lot of momentum. I don't want it to turn into a wet bag of dog shit. We got to move forward. Nice. There we go. There we go. Okay, so do you guys want to talk about yourself? Thank you for the cat emojis. La Odyssey, New York. None of you guys want to talk about yourselves. Come on. It's a healing place. Nice. Oh, that was some great moves right there. I might want to save it. For the first time, I'm so impressed with one of our games. I'm going to save our spot so we can possibly do it again. Hell yeah. Let's resume. So even if we die, we can start from there. That's what saving is. I'm sorry I'm talking to you like a 60-year-old stepdad. I gotta tell you, I love stabbing these guys in the crotch. It's exhilarating. It's like wa it's riding a great wave on an ocean. You get the knife out, you go right in there. That anarchist dog is opening up saying, her mother thinks she's a piece of shit. I'm sorry. I think you're amazing. You always come on my streams. You're very supportive. You bring a lot of sunshine here. I mean, I can do these streams without you guys. I have. And it's not the same. I need you guys. Every time I'm stabbing somebody in the dick, when I know that anarchist dog's in the room, oh man, it just feels like that knife is possessed. You know, like I'm not even doing it myself, but the Holy Spirit and that anarchist dog is stabbing these guys in the dick for me. All right, La Odestray New York is saying, had three days off and you slept most of it. That sounds like me. I don't get out of bed for anything less than 28 an hour. You want pants on me? You want me to shave my ass? That's like 32 an hour. You're not gonna get me out of bed with a clean ass for anything less than 32 an hour. So, I don't know, I think you should stay in bed. Oh, I'm sorry, I got killed there, but I think you should stay in bed until these people know what you're worth, okay? Trust me, load up on baby ass wipes cereal and just stay in bed you'll thank me later all right we're down to our last life these sons of bitches are unrelenting this is a tough level doesn't ah let's just load up there we go there we go we got our lives back everybody's happier Anybody else want to open up? Anybody gone to prison? Gotten somebody pregnant that they didn't want to get pregnant? They can. This is a safe space in my chat room. It's not like we record anything. Shindig's excited about unemployment. You know, I, I wish they would just give us a basic income just like they do in Amsterdam or, or one of those places I saw on a Facebook meme. I, I'm just not good at a retail job. I, I panic. People see in their eyes, in my eyes, that there's just a darkness, a void that doesn't allow me to help them get a taco if it was Del Taco. I've worked at Blockbuster Video. I got fired after two weeks. Ah! This is a tough game, man. Russian attack. We got about 10 minutes left, people. Let's end on a fun one. Something we can all get behind. Something that we can rally around. Super Spy Hunter. Look at this. It's hard. I worked at Filene's Basement Retail. I had to measure dudes' necks for dress shirts. It was depressing. Alright, Spy Hunter though. Get to shoot things, driving a car. Okay, kind of boring. I thought it'd be more exciting than just driving aimlessly around town. That's like a Jim Blossom song. We can drive around this town and let the cops chase us around. <laughs> I beat the game. I think we beat Spy Hunter. That's all you're going to really see on it is just driving through a city. So let's chalk it up. I think I've beaten like eight games tonight. Let's... Ooh! Ooh! Let's do Ronald McDonald. What the hell is this? Ronald McDonald land? 
oh my God, we get to play a young, virginal Ronald McDonald? What is this? What the hell is going on right now? Who was that hamburger guy? Was that our dad? All right, we're a young Ronald McDonald. We gotta figure things out. How do I know he's a virgin, Shindig? He's like eight years old there. What do you think he is? You think that little guy right there has seen pussy? All right. What just killed me? That just came out of nowhere. Oh, there's the dirty hamburgerler. I'm gonna have to throw tomatoes at, or burgers. What was that, tomatoes? I'm gonna get those, oh, I got killed by the hamburglar. God damn it. All right, I'm back though. Collect some hamburgers. What a pleasant surprise. I didn't know we were gonna play McDonald's tonight. Okay, I gotta get the hamburglar, hold on. Yes, my first confirmed kill. I beat the living shit out of the hamburglar. That's gonna make me feel good tonight when I shut off the stream and I start listening to Elliot Smith and I look at my crotch and I start crying. And that's usually the order. Yeah, Ronald looks pretty happy to kill the Hamburglar. There's another one too. I'm gonna throw the tomato from a distance. What the f- There we go, boom! Suck it! I didn't know they made a McDonald's game for the Nintendo. No, this is Ronald McDonald. It's some weird bootleg game. They must have put this in, like, Happy Meals or some shit. This is... I'm not gonna say it's the best game in the world. Ah! That's it. We killed Ronald McDonald. Is that it? No continues? Alright, we're back. Here comes this sad sack of shit of a hamburger guy again. And we gotta get to work. You know what? I'm sorry, I, I, I just, I don't like it. It's not fun. We're gonna do some Donkey Kong. We're gonna finish this off in style. Technically, I think we beat the McDonald's game. So that's nine games beaten tonight. Let's finish this off on style. All right, any second. Here we go. All right, this is Donkey Kong. This guy took your wife up there. And we gotta just get up there and we gotta get this guy. And Donkey Kong's like one level too, so if we... If we technically beat this first level, we've beaten Donkey Kong. So I'm just gonna get up there, I'm gonna get my wife back, and we're gonna call this a win too. Here we go, we're just about to beat Donkey Kong. Excuse me, we have a kill screen coming up on Donkey Kong. You might want to tell your friends. I bet you I could beat the shit out of Billy King of Kongs at this. I think this is it. I just climb up this ladder. Boom. We beat Donkey Kong. How do you feel? Huh? Oh, there's another round. Nah, we beat Donkey Kong. We don't need to play another round. We save the girl. We bring her home, you know? Ah, uh, elevator action. Let's see if we can beat this too. We've beaten like 10 games tonight, people. I really appreciate the love. Thank you for sticking around. We got five minutes left on the stream. Please subscribe, follow, do anything it takes to get me out of this depression. Say nice words to me in the chat. Anything. It's been a hard 2021 for a lot of us. And sometimes just killing random strangers in a video game fills that void. All right, this one's really easy. We just need to get down to floor one. A lot of CIA agents, creepy dudes in suits. Look at our guy's hair. I'm so jealous. I, I wish I could have that hairline, but I have to wear these stupid bandanas and I just don't have it. But that doesn't matter. In this game, I have beautiful hair. I'm a secret agent. Nobody knows I can't get it up in a condom. I'm a king on this game. 
That's what's great about video games. Women, they come and go. But video games, video games last forever. Brad Doobie told that to a friend of mine. It's true. You know, relatives are gonna die, but video games last forever. You're gonna get fired from jobs. But those video games, they're never gonna fire you. You're gonna fire them up. Nice, you see that sick move? I'm doing pretty good on elevator action. You guys are seeing a lot of really neat rare games tonight. We're talking about the coronavirus and being unemployed and, and doing art to piss off your, your enemies. No, you guys don't have to go bald for the cult, cheeky girl. Let me get a hair transplant and show you how the hair is resurrected on my head like Christ. It will be beautiful. But we are going to have a cult though, guys, so remember that. If there's nothing else you take away from the last couple minutes, we're going to have like a Waco, Texas Twitch cult. We'll get a compound in the Hollywood Hills. It's only gonna take like three or four of us putting in like 600 a piece. We'll get that nice house in the hills. One of us can mine Bitcoin all day. One of us can do laundry. It'll be beautiful. We're gonna have a beautiful cult. Are you guys excited about the cult? Let me know in the chat room. I gotta wait for this elevator to come back up. I think. Yeah. Ah, that killed him? God, what a pussy. We're gonna have Kool-Aid for the cult. It'll be awesome. But it's gonna be like the Kool-Aid with acid in it. It's not gonna be like the Jonestown Kool-Aid that kills everybody. And we're just gonna stream all day and night, guys. It's gonna be living the dream at this cult. I'll be your cult leader. Robbie Koresh. Red will be a cult leader, the sexual cat. And this is going to be a beautiful cult, guys. We'll be making love all day. We'll be feeding this cat. We'll be growing our own industrial hemp. All I need is like a hundred more subscribers and we can start our death cult in, in the Hollywood Hills. I already have 10 grand in the bank, I think. We can, we can take that out. I'm not supposed to take it out until my retirement, my dad said, but I'll take it out now for you guys. That's like two months rent right there for our- Ah, oh, you can't just fall a level? My guy is a pussy. Shindig wants to know if uh, they have to leave their current cult they're in to join my cult. Nah, you can be as in as many cults as you want, but if the FBI breaks down the doors to our compound, you better be at our house pumping a gas powered turbine into some of those sons of bitches before we go down. I'll also need a moderator to hand out cyanide capsules to the death cult if we ever get attacked by the ATF. We can't be taken alive. I'm sorry, we can't. Well, we're down to two minutes left on the stream. I appreciate you guys for hanging out with me tonight. And we're, you know, we're, we're planting a lot of seeds. We're learning how to be more creative through video games and how to meditate. And we're planning our death cult. That's gonna be so exciting. If you guys are willing to move to Southern California and watch me twitch all day, you can be part of it too. We're gonna be eating mushrooms like they're Rice Krispie treats. We're gonna be chasing each other around the pool with salad tongs. We're going to be throwing midgets into the pool. We're going to be beating each other with cat furniture. Can you imagine how exciting it's going to be being part of this cult? Doing lines of Adderall all afternoon while you're beating the shit out of me with cat furniture? I don't know. I think that sounds pretty hot. We're going to grow our own cocaine. We might even adopt a helper monkey that's going to run around in a diaper. Those helper monkeys are awful. I, I remember a lady had one on her shoulder at a party in Cape Cod. Oh, we just crushed that son of a bitch with the elevator. Don't say nothing ever happens on this stream. That was beautiful. Anyways, I saw a lady with a helper monkey at a party in Cape Cod. My friend Tom Dustin will back this story up. 
and she was trying to talk to everybody about how helpful the monkey was. Oh, this monkey helps everybody if you're handicapped. And meanwhile, the monkey was taking a shit on this lady's shoulder and she had on a white t-shirt all down her back. Even though the monkey was wearing a diaper, this helper monkey was, it was taking a shit. It just, it was pouring down her back while she was trying to make this monkey sound like it was like Gandhi or like the Pope. Oh, helper monkeys are beautiful. They can help you get food. They can dial a phone for you. Yeah, do they take big dumps down your back because it looks like your flagship helper monkeys dropping a Dugan on your t-shirt. Nice! Did you see me duck right there? I can tell stories about helper monkeys taking a shit, and I can dodge bullets. I'm like Neo in the Matrix, only bald, unemployed, and now dead. See, when I think negative, the CIA hear it, and then they shoot me. So we need positive thoughts. We got two minutes left on this Twitch stream. I want to thank you guys so much. That anarchist dog, Shindig, Cheeky Girl, La Odyssey, New York, Nova Zulu, Daddio, KJ Pimp, all you guys. You make it happen. You make it beautiful. I'll probably be back tomorrow night. We can hang out again. 6 p.m. Pacific. 9 p.m. Eastern. I'm getting my second vaccine jab this weekend. And then I'll be able to travel, I think, in a couple of weeks. Maybe I'll visit you guys. Thinking of doing a tour of New England, come out from Southern California, go up there, get some actual lobster rolls, clam chowders, maybe date a Boston 7. That would be exciting for me. Every Sunday I go to virtual church on Zoom and I pray to a virtual priest and a virtual Jesus that I can date one more 7 before these kidneys take me. Wait a minute, we're at the... Did we just beat this game? While I was talking about being bald and joining a cult? We beat it! Oh, wait a minute, I gotta get... Ugh, oh, figures. I get excited about something and God takes it away from me. Hold on. All right. Yes! Yes! We won! Oh, that was great, man. Well, that's a great way to finish off the game. I want to congratulate everybody who watched me do that. Wait a minute. We didn't win? I'm going to count that as a win. Fuck that. Game's trying to make me look bad. Wow, we beat Elevator, man. <laughs> elevator action. That was amazing. All right, that's it, guys. Take something from the cheese platter. Yeah, we beat like nine games tonight, man. It feels really good. I'm going to be on my Facebook a little bit later. So if you guys want to talk to me, the name is Rob Patillo. Or visit the YouTube. Rob Patillo. I mean, everything is my name. You can go on some wonderful journeys tonight. See some old videos. Don't sleep on this beautiful cat, Red. Sexual feeding cat. No, I'm not going to eat this plate. The unpractical. Would you like to take the cheese plate home? Does somebody want to take this cheese platter home with them? Please. I can't eat all this cheese. Please. I'm lactose. Are you lactose? Somebody take it. Take the pickles. All right. The unpractical's taking the cheese plate. We got one more minute. Does anybody need any life advice from P. Mooney? Anybody? Does anybody want P. Mooney to talk to them about life? This was my high school. I'm sorry, this was my kindergarten puppet. A teacher would bring this puppet in. Yeah, you're at the tail end of the stream, but, you know, I mean, you can start it over. I mean, it's going to be up on the Twitch. You can look at it. We got 27 seconds left. Does anybody want to say anything to my blind friend from kindergarten, P. Mooney? He's right there. That tickles your He's face. He's beautiful. Well, God I bless. I love you guys, too. I am known Red as loves you guys. Remember, we'll be in our dreams eating lobster rolls and laughing at our enemies.